Let's upcycle this basket. I'm going to be using the Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint in Cotton and I've just pre-poured a mould from resin uh, from the IOD Fleur de Lis mould. Hi, I'm Sam from raggedy-bits.com and we're just upcycling this little tray today and I've just taken some fusion black wax and I'm pushing that down into all the low points of the mould. Uh, and then you're going to see me in a minute just grabbing a baby wipe and uh, removing some of that uh, black wax from the high points of the mould. And then uh, you'll see me just reapplying it to where I've rubbed it off a little bit too much. And I just keep playing around until I get the effect that I like and then I set that aside to set. Then I'm taking my Bodabra and I'm going to make a uh, little bow that I'm going to attach the mould to which you'll see in a moment. I'm just layering the bow, bow one single uh, bow at a time. I'm using this really pretty stripe. I love this. I thought it was very sort of a little bit French provincial, the black and white stripe, which suited the mold um, really well. And then I'm just layering on a jute bow and I'm just going backwards and forwards. I think I went backwards and forwards about four times. I just really love that, that effect uh, at the top of your bow. And then, then I'm just securing that all into place and then wrapping it around uh, using that excess jute to make the center of the bow. Now I'm just cutting off the loose ends from the uh, bow and then I'm just going to create some tails uh, with the burlap bow and also the stripe ribbon. And now I'm just going to take a button because this is obviously a wire basket there's nothing to secure the bow onto so I'm just using a, a coordinating brown sort of coloured button um, to help secure that into place and then I'm taking the uh, mould and some greenery I just felt like the front of the bow could do with a little bit of greenery just to add um, a little bit of uh, depth to the bow and I'm just attaching that to the button on both sides And then I'm just going to take the little Fleur de Lis mold and attach that. I'm just using my hot glue gun for all of this. And then you'll see me faff about a little bit with the bow uh, just to make sure it is all sitting nicely on the front of the basket. And there's a sweet little upcycle that you could turn it into some really cute uh, French style uh, decor for your home. Just pop in a little candle, some beads or even pop it on your desk with your craft supplies. Thank you so much for watching.